Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to find the test point on Samsung Galaxy M21. Test point is uh, basically two uh, little pins on your motherboard on your phone that let you once you touch them together with a tool like this, for example, um, you will be able to enter the service mode by connecting the phone to your computer uh, while those points are connected by you. And then uh, do various things like uh, flash the system operating system image or uh, remove FRP lock and do way more with it. Fix your phone uh, that way. Mm, fix the system on your phone because that allows communication between the processor and the computer in the service mode. So this video is only about finding the test point, but I think that may be really helpful. So first of all, you will need to turn the phone off if it's currently on, then take this back cover off. Before you begin taking off the back cover, remember to take this tray out of here. This tray, you can see it is like for the SIM card and with it being in, you'll probably destroy either the tray or the SIM card reader inside. So make sure to remove it and then begin taking off the back cover. You can see I already have it taken off because it requires a lot of time, but I'll explain how to do it. Um, so once you have it off, once the phone is, once you have it on and the phone is off, uh, use a spudger like this, for example, and start, um, you can start by first using a card like this, if you have one, to go in between the back cover and the display, like that, right? Now you will be able to, once you do that, gently pry it, and maybe with a different hand, go in with a spudger. Then pry it, you may want to also insert this tool, which looks like a guitar pick, um, like for example here, so you can, so this doesn't click back and you can keep prying the other sides. And be careful with it, but don't worry if you hear clicking sounds, this is just plastic um, being opened, right? And uh, it may take you 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, it's okay. Uh, be slow with it. But now, uh, once I have it off, we'll need to do other things. So first of all, I will use a screwdriver to get rid of this plastic cover part here above the battery. So let's do it. You can see it's pretty simple. You just need to unscrew it. I have an electric screwdriver, so it's a bit easier for me, but you can still do it with a standard one. Make sure not to lose those uh, screws. They are pretty small, so put them somewhere that you don't lose them. <laughs> and just continue. Uh, you can watch the, like, step by step uh, which ones I'm taking out because um, sometimes even if I'm unscrewing something I may accidentally forget about one screw then try to like, hardly pry something and it, it breaks so just make sure that all the screws are unscrewed correctly see the next one so now we have four off and there's three more to go. I'll show you. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, right? 
the order in which you unscrew those screws doesn't matter at all so also don't worry and make sure that your screwdriver is the correct size because incorrect size screwdriver may wear out screws and that may cause you to just be unable to unscrew it so I'll get rid of that one okay as you can see it's done now once that's unscrewed uh, gently lift this plastic part be aware of this fingerprint sensor it has to go through the camera hole now we can leave that part somewhere close right and now uh, first of all unplug the battery it is very important to unplug the battery um, so you don't get um, electrocuted and now as we can see here there will be a few more screws to get rid of but before we get rid of those screws let's also get rid of this fingerprint sensor you can use the spudger to gently lift it without breaking the circuits here as long as you pay attention to being gentle with it it will all come off pretty easily so I'll put that here then also here are the buttons the mm, volume buttons and the power button right um, let's unplug them as well so we don't um, break the, 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 the cable between those cables uh, between those buttons and the motherboard so you also need to be careful with that okay we got rid of it now also the antenna antenna is right here hope you can see it I can see it so <laughs> so yeah just unplug it very gently with some sort of tool but be very gentle with that antenna okay we have it and now we have the screw to unscrew I believe there's just one from what I can see we'll see it to like to know whether we can open it already or not okay this is a black screw so I'll put it somewhere else so I don't confuse them because there are sort of different sizes mm, and now we can already lift the the thing right we can see it's all here then basically mm, what do you see right here is the inside you can see there is the the place where you put your sim cards but hold on a second I'll, I'll just make extra sure um, that I'm showing you the right thing because it's not that easy so yeah yeah okay um, I'm sure now uh, I'll show you that on a computer I have it right here um, still pretty hard to like <laughs> rotate it in my mind but okay as I said I'll show you okay you can see this photo right here uh, unfortunately okay I'll rotate the phone it'll be a bit easier to understand everything here um, in that rotation it is all correct here are the sims right here are some chips some other things and there is the camera at the top on the computer it is around here so um, now the test points will be in those little uh, pins here and the test points are okay I think I see it 
Yeah, you just need to touch them. You can touch them with this tool. It is hard and it's made to be hard. It's very, very normal for it to be difficult, but um, I will need to touch this little thing right here, this little circle. So maybe I'll zoom the camera in. I think that may be a good idea. I hope I'm in focus right now. Mm. Yeah, you can see that this little circle has to be touched uh, and uh, this like second pair of pins here. Like it's very difficult here, but once you like touch it both and plug in the phone to the computer, then it should be working. It's gonna make extra sure if I'm in focus. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, so the, let's uh, repeat one more time the circle and this like this is the first pair of like two little pins then here is the second and those two need to be touched at the same time with like the same tool, right? And this is opening the service mode. Now let's go back to assembling the um, the phone because it's also quite important to do it correctly so okay now uh, be very gentle make sure that all the cables here um, are aren't being uh, cut in between the motherboard and the back here, the front of the phone, basically. Mm, so this cable, this cable, and uh, then put it in. Make sure the camera aligns well. Just like that. Now the first thing to do here is mm, screw in the black screw. I promised to screw it, to place them in different places so I don't confuse them, but fortunately they are colored and it's visi they are visibly different because sometimes screws aren't visibly different, but now let's screw that in. Remember to be gentle with it, don't over screw it because we're like pretty close to the uh, display. It doesn't want to go in. It's because it's misaligned a little bit. It's very normal for it to be misaligned, so don't worry. See it being misaligned. Okay, I think now I've placed it correctly. Yeah, okay not too hard on that screw then let's plug in the the side um, buttons plug them in nicely then the antenna which is gonna be a bit difficult uh, but uh, I think you'll you'll get it the antenna is always difficult because it has to go like very straight in it cannot be tilted uh, to the side. And then we can plug in the battery. In the battery. Yeah. And then uh, I'll do the fingerprint in a moment. Let's put the, the plastic thing on top, the plastic cover. Right, is it all right? It is all right. Place it all well. Then screw in one screw. And all the other ones. Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't intended. Also, like, um, until you feel pressure. 
uh, later just don't don't over screw screws especially on so small device uh, devices like phones because that may end up not well okay remember that there's seven screws for the plastic cover one screw for the motherboard in the bottom right corner mm, and uh, yeah I have three more to go here Okay, we got it, and now the fingerprint sensor, don't forget about it. Because if you, can, if you forget about something, then you'll need to get rid of this back cover, and if, you were, oh, if you've already done it, then you probably know how hard it is to do that. Okay, and make sure it's all clicked on nicely. You shouldn't hear a click here, but just it should be stable then put the plastic cover on it I've loosened it later uh, earlier so you, like you didn't see me lo loosen it but uh, you'll see me um, put it on okay and now our phone is ready to go, uh, so um, remember also at the end put in the SIM card um, tray. And I hope that this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.